need my fix. I need my fix of cheap Chinese crap. Whoa. Wolson, the Wolson Game World portable game console. It's only two stars, it's not that great. It was made in China, as if um, I could have never guessed that. It's got a nice window on the front, double glazed, I'm sure. Um, on the side, we've got some features pocket, so it actually comes with a pocket. Um, it has a big screen, 2.5 inches, that is huge. Uh, it's got a loudspeaker, which is um, better than a quiet speaker. We've got volume control, which is which is key, we need that. It's got AAA battery operated, oh dear, I've forgotten the batteries. And it's got TV output, which is which is actually, I didn't actually know that was gonna happen, so that's a pretty added bonus. Uh, we've got the same on the bar, on the other side. On the bottom, it says that we have Walton 2.5 color P, S and speaker, which is good. We actually got the speaker model. We've also got a little D-pad in, in, engraved here and some A and B buttons, uh, just to, that's actually quite a cool little design there, I guess. Um, on the back, we've got some screenshots of the games. So that looks a bit Zelda-esque, if I'm honest with you. That looks kind of Mario Pac-Man-esque. This is like a snooker game, not sure what that is. Um, Forest Kid. I wonder if there's actually going to be any titles in here that we know. So let's find out. So there's no sellotape on here. They were cutting any corners at all with this. Um, and let's pull out the inlay. One thing I should point out quickly is that this little um, person up here is the happiest little warning sign I've ever seen. Look how happy that person is. And that's a lot of hair for a three year old. So here it is. It just is good quality. This is it compared to an actual Game Boy Micro. This was released by Nintendo in around 2004, I believe, maybe a little bit later than that, 2005. Um, a little bit smaller. As you can see, they've definitely gone for that kind of vibe here. We've got the curved corners at the top. We've got our A and B button here. We've also got an, an extra button, which is T. We've got our D-pad. This is a, um, a one-piece D-pad, if you'd like. And this one's got four different buttons. We've got a speaker down here. The one on this one has it down here. There's no start and select. Um, there's a reset button and a start button up here, actually. Um, this looks to be the power button on the top here. We've got our volume wheel. That's going to be our TV output, and then this is where our batteries are going to go in. So I'm going to quickly go and get some batteries. Um, but before I do that, let's have a look at the accessories it comes with. Uh, we've got a little lanyard, which is always nice. Um, and then we've also got a little AV um, out, so that's pretty decent. Um, and then here's the, um, the manual instruction, as opposed to automatic instruction. Um, technical specifications. Specifications, display, uh, power supply, uh, is three batteries, blah 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 blah, nothing on here. We've got the direct Shon pad. Let's have a look at some of the problem and solutions. I'm, I wonder if I can apply these to my everyday problems. Um, no power. Is the console turned on properly? <laughs> Picture blinking or distorted. Is the volume control turned on? <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's go and get some batteries and turn this thing on. All right, and here it is. Let's just take this little plastic film off the front there. It's nice that they've included that. That's probably actually worth more than the console. Um, it's actually definitely, well, it's definitely got a bigger screen than the um, than the micro here. And it's also got kind of like a matte finish on it, which is, which is actually really, really nice. I quite like that. Um, this wasn't too expensive. I believe it was about eight pounds. Um, so, wow. The screws are absolutely chewed up in there. So yeah, let's turn it on, let's have a look. Well, that's annoying. We've either got um, 100 in one or 160 in one. We've actually got really, really loud speakers. Let's have a look at the 100 in one then. Uh, we're not gonna go through, through all the games. Um, It'd be quite interesting to see if they do actually have 101. You know, I'm not actually seeing any repeated games. Oh, we've got Tetris 2. Let's see if that is actually licensing itself as Tetris. Ah, not quite. Unless this is what Tetris 2 looks like, I'm not sure. Not a bad clone of Tetris, I guess. Works all right. I've definitely seen worse. 
Um, okay, let's reset and go back to the home menu. Let's have a look at this one and see if there's anything we recognise in here. We've got Extreme Rally, Underground, Road Worker. Road Worker, that sounds like a pretty adventurous game. Okay, it's not going to work. Um, there's that Forest Kid one, that was advertised on the back. It's actually got a really, really nice screen to be honest with you. Pretty good uh, viewing angles, I guess. I'm, I'm quite surprised. It's quite ergonomic, it's quite comfortable to hold in the hands. Um, I'm actually really, really surprised so far. Oh dear, right, hang on, what's happening there? Why is he so... Oh, he's like got... He can jump onto vines. He's a beast. He jumps so slowly. Oh. I wonder if we go to the end. Got old maid, long jump. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they were actually unique games, all of them. I mean, they definitely don't seem like anything which is going to be really going to blow your minds. But to be honest with you, the fact that it's that small and it's got that many games in and it's actually that high quality in terms of um, everything seems to feel okay, the buttons will work, then this is actually quite cool. I should point out that I got this from AliExpress. I'm going to have 100 comments saying where'd you get this from. Um, I got it from AliExpress. I can't leave the link in the description because it's a phone app thing. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Slapjack, um, Sudoku if you're boring. Um, we've got Fish War, which is alright. Balloon Shoot, oh yes mate, if this is the actual, the like, the, the balloon shoot that I know, then that's going to be quality. Oh no, it's not quite, not quite. Oh bloody hell. What are you doing here? Oh you meant to press B. Well how on earth is anyone meant to play that? Oh my god. Hours of amusement right here. Mm. Alright, you can just hold the B button down. In fact, oh yeah, you need to hold the B button down. Are they little pig faces? This is some trippy stuff here. Let's get out of this. Let's have another look at this one and see if there's anything else good. Frog prank. <laughs> frog prank. <laughs> Let's have a look at frog prank. And we've got Santa Claus. <laughs> Atomic Blah. Toad in the Hold. Let's have a look at Toad in the Hold. I'm getting way too much. This is the best £8 I've ever spent in my life. I kind of want to touch the screen. How are we meant to start this? Oh, hang on. Get donked, mate. Yes, lad. This is not bad, but I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm quite quite happy with this. Um, the one thing I really wanted to advertise is the fact that you can play anywhere you are, unlike any other handheld ever. Good job, Walson. Good job, little green man. You've made us proud.